let's understand feet washing. Then we wash our feet and we go and possess the land. John chapter 13 from verse 1. From verse 2. Let's read it up to verse 17 just to get a complete picture for that is where the feet washing ordinance was established by the Lord Jesus. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. We'll read it fast. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he was come from God and went to God, he rise from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and guarded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was guarded. Then came he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, does thou wash my feet? Praise the Lord. Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Feet washing is to demonstrate that we are part of one another. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, ah, if that is the reason, then not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. <laughs> Jesus said to him, He that is washed, Needed not save to wash his feet, but is clean every week. And ye are clean, but not all, because there is a Judas among them. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said ye, ye are not all clean. This cleanness now, praise the Lord. It's not physical body cleanness, but cleanness of the heart towards each other. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? You call me master and lord, and you say, well, for so I am. If I, then your lord and master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. I read verse 14 again. If I, then your lord and master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Verse 15. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. Neither he that is sent greater than he that sent to him. And verse 17. If you know these things, if you understand, if you have the revelation of what we are doing now, happy are you if you do them. So what is the significance of feet washing? It's a demonstration of brotherly love. It's a declaration that you and I, I am part of you, you are part of me, we are one. Bound together by the blood of Jesus Christ. What is he saying? That as we go along this journey of life from earth to glory, just as physically you walk about, physically up and down, trekking up and down, you will pick dust. Dust all over your feet. Mud all over your feet. Like it has just rained in this part of the world now in Lagos today, this evening. The whole town will be marshy and muddy along the road. What also spiritually, amen, just as physically we will be dirty one way or the other, we are to help one another and clean up each other. We are not to add more debt and more mud on each other. It is speaking of the life of the disciples. For by this shall men know that you are my disciples. 
if you have love one for another, what identifies you as children of God when you come together is not the clothes you wear. Sometimes the dressing you wear only identify which church you belong. If you see a young girl carrying Bible and she wear trousers, she's from Christ's embassy. If you see a woman with Christian Bible in her hand and 24 hours in the office, she tie her head, tie, tie everywhere. She wear only turtle neck. How her legs, even, even her legs, her skirt draws in the ground. You can know she's from deeper life. That is not identity of a Christian yet. The identity of the Christian is how you behave towards each other. Love is our identification. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave. He was ready to die. We are, Jesus said, we are to love each other as he has loved us. He loved us until he was ready to die for us and he actually died for us. We must also emulate that aspect of his. That is why he instituted the feet washing. So now you understand James chapter 5 verse 16. James chapter 5 verse 16. This is what he said. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Confessing your faults one to another is not the Catholic confession you go every week. Oh. It is you meeting your brother, your sister, and telling him or her your weakness. The problems you are having, your spiritual problems, how you are now getting out of fellowship with the spirit. A weakness that is now manifesting, you have to confess your besetting sin. Sin that when you want to move forward, it draws you back. Say it to each other so that he will join you to pray and pray that problem away. We have to share these problems with one another. That's why I say confess our faults one to another and pray one for another. Not for him to tell you, then you take it and go and broadcast it. He told me by himself. He told me he has, he has committed fornication. He, she told me she has done this. She told me, she told me. And you go and broadcast it, you are not a Judas. You are not a true disciple. A brother will not kill another brother. He told you so that you will help him. She told you so that you will help her. That is what we demonstrate in feet washing. That is number one. It's to build and re-establish love. Love that comes from the bond of the blood of Jesus Christ that has bound us together. Praise the Lord. Now number two, this is very important. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now it has to do with deliverance. You see, when a sister much poison, amen, when they want to destroy your, when they want to destroy in spiritual battle, first and foremost, when they want to, to, to uh, destroy your progress, they use your footprints. You will march, they will carry the sand. And whatever you do, except the grace of God comes upon you, especially those who are not prayerful, you are finished. Each time somebody comes to me with a leg problem, I march something and wound, blah, blah, blah. I always do feet washing for that person. Praise God. There was a sister 
Ekwe, Sister Ekwe. Is it Ekwe? We used to call her Ekwe. Uh -huh, that is she over there. Come now, come. There was a time the enemy wanted to finish her. That testimony, Bright TV has showed it several times. Hallelujah. This God is a, a miracle working God. Now just as a reference, I know so many people know this testimony. How many people know this testimony? Wave your hand if you know her testimony. Show her face so they can see who we are talking about. Uh -huh, that is she. How many people remember her testimony? Amen. Amen. You match something. Eh? Yes, sir. You match something. I your leg, something. Yes. your leg was completely rotten. Yes. I wish Chile could show them so that they understand what I'm talking about. The leg was gone. They wanted to finish the leg. Rotting and was going. Cannot, eh? It was smelling. Cannot Smell. even near me. It was smelling. You, you couldn't mm. even come near. I remember that day when I was praying for you. We didn't have face mask that time. Yes. If we had face mask, I would have put it before praying for you. People would think the coronavirus, no, no, send a smell. At the... Well, what I'm saying is, what did I do with that leg when it was time for, to pray for you? I put it inside, inside water. water. Amen. Yes. I put it inside water. Inside water. And shortly after that, the nonsense disappeared. Today, her leg is free. God bless you. Go back. So, feet washing can also be used for deliverance. They tie that leg as you are washing the leg. You are loosening that leg. Because during feet washing, when you are washing your you're washing your brother's leg, your sister's leg. You are praying. You are prophesying progress. Any cause against your progress, I wash it away. I lose your leg. You will prosper. Anywhere you touch, you might, you will prosper. And you are washing the leg, cleaning the leg, wipe it off. And when you finish, you hug each other and pray for each other. It's a very powerful deliverance action. Instituted by Christ Himself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a scripture in Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 19. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, The Lord God is my strength, and He will make my feet, feet, feet like hands feet and he will make me to walk upon mine high places oh let me read it again the lord god is my strength strength and he will make my feet like hands feet and he will make me to walk upon mine high places hind what is a hind a hind is a female deer. Who knows the animal deer? That can place her back feet where her front feet stepped. The hind is a sure-footed, agile animal. It is able to climb impossible mountain terrains that others can't. If Shile can show us a picture of what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, maybe he cannot get it. It's an animal. It's a deer. Everybody knows a deer. Looks like a goat. And it's a four-footed animal. The female deer is called hind. The female deer is called hind. That is it there on the screen. 
That is a hind you are seeing. That animal is called hind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He maketh my feet like the hind's feet. There's something about that leg. Look at it very well. The front, two front legs, where it touches, the back leg is able to come to that same spot, move and to the spot where the front leg step to be able to leap forward again. With that ability, hallelujah, that animal, no matter how rough the terrain is, no matter how rough the mountain is, no matter how rough, how muddy it is, it is unstoppable. It will leap forward. It kept leaping forward. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's written here, notice that it is only the hind that can climb those rocky terrains. This is because it has the right feet to climb. Oh, glory be to God. Praise the Lord. It has the right type of feet to be able to climb. So when it is running, amen, if you like, you think that you have hooked it, it cannot move, it will leave where the front leg is. It has the ability to move the back one and meet the front one. It will move again, it will move. And it is going and going and going and it is unstoppable. Somebody, your progress this year is unstoppable in the name of Jesus. Your feet is going to be like the hind's feet this year in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you finish washing that feet, you will come to the altar and the servant of God will anoint your two legs. Nothing will stop your progress this year. Those of you watching us online, just take the anointing oil we consecrated and anoint your legs. Nothing will stop your progress. Nothing. You see now the anointing oil we blessed last week. You see now he took it and anointed the shop. The animal could not come there again. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Spiritual wickedness. But our weapons of warfare, they are, they are not carnal. They are mighty through God. Through God. Hallelujah. I want you to take this exercise very seriously. Sometimes the easy, easy way of receiving blessing, receiving deliverance, carnal man does not appreciate it. They will prefer me to say, go and do dry fasting. Emeka, dry fasting. Then, then, then when you finish, you say, yeah, I did dry fasting. Seven days, no food, no water for my deliverance. You appreciate that. That's why these charlatans, they will sell oil for you. Sell oil. Sell anointing oil. One woman brought oil for me to bless for her some time ago. He says, so say, say one prophet, say, take your oil to the pastor to bless for you. She came to me on the altar and I held the bottle in my hand. I said, take, it is blessed. Go, anytime you use this one, oh yeah, heaven will back it up. She was very disappointed. And she, she was going as if uh, they no consecrate. <laughs> Maybe because of maybe the church is coming from. So when I noticed, I told Mama, Mama, come back. She was an elderly woman. I, I just said, how will this woman have faith now? And I said, why did they say she bless oil? And then she removed her cloth and I saw she had a swollen leg. Oh, that's where you're supposed to rub it. And at the altar, I told her to pour the oil on the ground. She poured the oil on the ground. I say now, match it. She matched it and the power of God carried her. And the anointing worked on her. When she recovered, 
I said, Mama, give me that bottle. She held it. He said, Mba, Mba, Mba. She now held it. Now she believed. Why do you wait to that level? Praise God. If you believe me to be a servant of God, then when I'm in my office walking, have it. This night, amen, as you wash your feet, somebody, that will be your deliverance in the name of Jesus. They are not answering me. You see, you see, I have not seen, maybe it has happened, but I say I have not seen. We are, that you are boy. because somebody came to say, I have this problem, one-on-one -on -one prayer, and something happened, and you stood up and said, praise God. Where is the young man I prayed for on Friday, on Tuesday? The chest problem. Is he here tonight? Is he here tonight? Eh? So he went everywhere. They flew him with oxygen to India because of that problem. He mentioned all the most expensive hospitals in Lagos. He went. Is he here? Are you the one? Are you sure? Come, let me confirm. Praise God. The difference, I have never seen him. But he will just stand at the altar and they shout. The man doesn't shout. Somebody here this year will be better than last year. Everybody, amen. Don't know how we see the boy to tell me how he achieved it. Oh, no. Here, an amigo shout. And I'm going to look at me. Some go to sleep, self. See that one when they sleep. See him, see him for your back. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, it's true. When I speak, connect. You see, you believe it. You see, you receive your own today. Eh? All your girls that say, say, I came from Mountain of Fire, Abby. Are you the one? Yes, I'm the one. Come on, your face must make I see your face. Bill, I say Nahim. <laughs> eh? Yes, I'm the one. Are you the one? Yes. How far? Very good. Eh? Very fine. Yes. Very fine. Yes. What well, you could not do before? Eh, it's okay, Chile. Eh, it's okay. We don't have time. It's okay. Eh? I just, I just, I just remembered. Why didn't you let us know you're around? I told you I want to confirm that healing today. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I say grace here. I think you, with this kind of testimony, if I speak, you go answer me now. When I say this year will be better than last year, answer. Because it must be better. I said this year must be better than last year. Eh? When I say go between now and the March, you will marry. Brother, congratulations. And the healing shall be permanent. Amen. To the glory of the living God. Amen. The healing shall be permanent. Permanent, 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 permanent. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lay your, in fact, the whole of your body on the altar. Then stand up and go. Leave it there. Leave it there. Take your bodies to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your bodies to the Lord and leave it there. I leave it there. You go. Leave every problem before the feet of Jesus and go. Church, clap your hands now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I decree as that leg will be washed tonight every problem working against your progress shall be washed away I say it again 
Stand up and answer me, please. As your feet help your neighbor, maybe they didn't hear. Maybe they, your neighbor didn't hear now. Eh? By this, I may know. Why did the Holy Ghost tell me to tie your neck with a handkerchief? Come here from the microphone. I mean, speakers. Eh? Sir. Why? Uh, it's, it's the grace of God that I'm still alive today, sir. They have been threatening my life to kill me all this while. They have been looking for your life has been under threat. Yes, sir. Who wants to kill you? Both um, all those uh, cultic boys. Cult. And the uh, most of those uh, family uh, problems. Were you in the cult before? No, sir. Just that um, I have. Uh, I went to Ireland. I apprentice work interior decoration. Since I went to Ireland, the work was moving fine. Then my people over there. I didn't know. I tried to get to know why the Lord told me to tie handkerchief on your neck. And when the Lord says tie handkerchief on the neck, it's a yoke. It means there is something you are yoked to that the Lord wants to break. And every evil yoke upon you remains broken today in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. As you are following me now, you are coming out of darkness. Uh -huh. I see you coming out of darkness. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. See what will happen. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Out. Come out of that darkness. Out. Turn and follow me again. Out of darkness. Out of darkness. Out. Out. Come out. Oh. Joy. Anybody tampering with your glory, it is over. It is over. It is over. Oh yeah. Jump, jump, jump out. Forward. Jump forward. Jump forward. Jump forward. Jump forward. Jump forward. Finally, jump in the name of Jesus. You are out. You don't do. Are out. Eh? You are out. Darkness. Eh? Do you know wee wee? You know what they call wee wee? Wee wee. Eh, wee wee. Before I was a smoker before, sir. Before you are smoking wee wee. Yes, sir. <laughs> Have you stopped it now? Even now, I'm, I'm now into Christ. I'm eh? even working for God now, sir. Eh? I'm not a servant of God, sir. You don't smoke wee wee again? I don't do that again. When did you smoke it last? I can't remember, sir. Eh? I can't remember, sir. Don't smoke wee wee for any reason. Yes, that spirit will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen, sir. Hemp. India hemp. Wee wee. Eh? Not only you, Miss Eva, not take up before. Eh? But I'm in Christ now. Amen, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The thing where they shack me now is the Holy Ghost. Eh? Yes, sir. The Bible says, be not drunk in wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, it shack you past we we. Yes, sir. Right now I am chucked with the wee-wee of the Holy Ghost. I pronounce again. From today, your life will move forward. That water, feet washing, we wash away every nyama nyama working against your progress in the name of Jesus. Your business will begin to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory. Sit down. You will wait on, okay. Anybody here, you want to pay your tithe here, here now? Anybody want to pay your tithe here? Come to the altar. Let that hand be anointed. Drop your tithe at the altar. And let your two hands be anointed. I let your two hands be anointed. Every day. I am going higher every day. I am going higher every day. I am going higher every day, every day. I am going 
going higher every day. I am going higher. Thank you. 